Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Desiree, and my channel is dedicated to Japanese and Korean beauty and bonus content about my trips to Japan, where to go, where to eat, all that good stuff. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new and exciting content. Okay, so for today's video, it's kind of like a haul slash where I go in town to buy my Korean beauty products. So I went to a total of four places in town and I kind of ranked them based off like the variety of products, the variety of brands, and also like how excited I was to shop. So if you're interested in seeing what I got and where I got it, please keep on watching. The Korean beauty section that I was least impressed by was at Walgreens. So the first Walgreens I went to, I had the hardest time finding the Korean beauty section and when I finally did find it, it was like above my head, like on a shelf in like a display like this big and it had like four products. So at that location, I didn't really buy anything. I said, well maybe at the second location I was going to, maybe they'll have a better one. And they did. So the one I actually bought stuff from had this nice like display kind of like in the middle of the makeup and skincare section of the store and it had its own little um, shelf which I thought was pretty cool. Um, the reason why I was like last is because they only had masks. So what I got was like kind of like this food-based mask right here. And it's actually from a brand I've never heard of called Coco Star. So I got the strawberry one right here and then the cucumber one right here. And the other thing I got was this coffee cream mask by Ingredients Brand. Again, a brand I've never heard of. So I never tried a coffee type mask before, so I'm really interested to see how it works. It's supposed to nourish, soothe, and moisturize your skin. And this product here contains coffee seed extract, vitamin E, and shea butter. So these are the only things that I did buy. Um, like I said, they were only masks. I wish there was a bigger variety, but then again, I think it really depends on what Walgreens you go to. But I did have some interesting products that I haven't seen in any of the other stores that I went to. Next on the Korean beauty selection ranking is Walmart. Now again, I think it really depends on what location you go to, but the one I went to had like uh, about three shelves worth of K-beauty items, and it definitely had more of a variety than Walgreens did. And they had like the usual masks and peeling gels, and I think moisturizers, cleansers, like foot peeling masks. Um, I think they also had like SPF, I don't quite remember. Well, it's definitely a lot more variety than Walgreens, which just had masks. So the ones that I did pick up was first this brand called Maskology right here. This is a collagen hydrogel gold mask for all skin types. It's supposed to tighten your skin and give it a nice glow and life to your skin. Um, I've never tried a gold mask before, so that's why I picked it up. And this mask here costs $2.50, so definitely affordable. And I picked another mask here that I've never really tried before again um, also by Maskology and it's a rubber mask. I've never tried a rubber mask before. I've seen Dr. Jart, which was a more of like a high-end Korean beauty brand, have those rubber masks. That I think you've probably seen like on people's Snapchat stories or Insta stories. Never pulled the trigger on that because I don't like spending too much money on masks. Like no more than like six dollars. That's when I'm feeling kind of spendy for the day. Um, so I'm definitely um, excited to try a rubber mask. So this is actually a two-step product. The first one right here is a lifting and firming cream followed by the mask, which should help firm and tighten your skin for a youthful and toned complexion. And this third product I got here is um, from the company called Sue A. I got the purifying and brightening peeling gel, and it's supposed to help refine and clarify your skin. I really like peeling gels. It's such a nice, gentle way to start exfoliating your skin, kind of getting rid of all the impurities and makeup, whatever's on your skin from the day. So this product is also really affordable. It's only about $4. So I'm pretty excited to try this. And with all these products, I'll probably show up in like a monthly favorites or an empties to let you know how the products worked out for me. All right, so that's it for Walmart. The next store, um, which I think is second place, um, I've only been to four stores, is Sephora. So I feel like Sephora had more brands and more well-known brands. And what's nice is that they also have testers so you can like smell them, you can kind of feel the texture of the products. That's really nice. The reason why it's second is because they only had like, they had like a really limited number of brands. 
compared to the first place. Also, the variety of products was still less than the first place store that I went to. But I did have your basics like toner, moisturizer, cleansers, mask, you name it. They had all of that. I didn't pick up too many things there because I didn't feel like spending too much money. But I did pick up two products. The first one being the Beauty Filter Cream Glow by Sun and Park. So this product here is essentially a primer before makeup application. And I, I was really interested in this because I don't really have any Korean or Japanese brand primers. So I was really excited to try this. It's also considered a filter cream. So it's supposed to give you that Snapchat or Instagram filter. I'm wearing it right now for the first time. So I'm not quite sure how it's gonna hold my makeup for the rest of the day, but it's definitely gives you that inner glow. Like it made my skin look more vibrant. So I'm pretty excited about that first impression. All right, the second product that I got is I didn't really buy it, I just used my Beauty Insider points to get it. Um, it's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So people have been raving about this product. I think it's also one of Allure's best beauty products of the year. But I never really got myself to try it. When I was offered for 100 points at Sephora, I'm like, yeah, I'll try it. And I can tell you, when I used it last night, oh, it was, it felt amazing. And it absorbs right nicely into your lips. And when you wake up, you just have the softest lips and I, I just love it. It's pretty much like love at first use. And I'm pretty sure I'll purchase the full size once I'm done with this, but yeah, this is really good. <laughs> All right, number one is, as you guys can probably guess, is Ulta Beauty. So I already did do a video of what kind of Korean beauty products you can find at Ulta. So this will be pretty quick. I just love how Ulta has its own dedicated shelf section of K-Beauty and I have a lot of brands that are super affordable and they also had a variety of products as well. I had a hard time deciding what to buy. So kind of like my last haul from Ulta, I picked up more Tony Moly I'm Real Masks. They're really cheap. They're only $3.50. I just love trying new, I guess, types of masks. I think last time I had like tomato and kale or broccoli, something like that. So this time I picked up charcoal, rice and ginseng. Then a new product that I got was from the brand I Do Care and it's the Goodbye Blemish Spot Clearing Lemon Tea Tree Liquid Patch. So this is kind of like those little circular band-aids you put on like any zits or pimples like overnight and when you wake up the swelling should reduce. So I used this last night and I have like a moderate size pimple right here and it's still there but it definitely the swelling went down. And the last thing that I bought from Ulta was again from the brand I Do Care and it's their black cat headband. So this pretty much keeps your hair out of your face whenever you're doing makeup or your skincare and it has cat ears so it's pretty cute and it was only $6. So those are all my Korean beauty finds in my area, which is the Midwest. As you can see, even if you're in the Midwest, you can definitely find a good selection of Korean beauty products. At least get your feet wet in trying different brands and different skincare and kind of build your routine that way. So the one thing I wish that the US would start offering, at least in my area, are more makeup products. So the skincare part is great, but I would love to try affordable makeup brands. There's just so many out there. I get all all of mine online or through beauty subscription boxes, but it would be great to have them in store to look at it, to play with it, to kind of compare and contrast different brands. So I really hope that that's kind of like the next phase. Let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comment section below. Do you guys have a great Korean beauty selection in your area or do you guys go, go online to buy your products? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.